the first thing I like to do is just take my knife, I'm going to use this longer one, and just cut straight down, and then get rid of that cake or feed it to someone. And then, over here, what you want to do is, remember it said, don't only cut the top portion. So I don't want to actually cut into where the filling is. So I'm going to go place a knife slightly above where the filling is. And cut in. And then I'll cut straight down here. Oops, little piece came off there. That's okay. We'll actually glue it back together. No problem, buttercream is like glue. See, voila, problem solved. Okay, now the other side, same thing. And if you wanted to make sure it's exactly the same, you could even take this and flip it over like so, and then cut. And then cut in down here. So a couple of different ways to do that there. All right, and this one seems a little lower, so I'm just going to cut in a little bit more and get rid of that excess. Now what we're going to do is actually just round this part off a little bit. See how our pattern here is rounded off a bit? So just take the knife. Okay, we're almost there at the carving stage, or the icing stage, I should say. The other thing what I want to do is I want to round these edges. So take the knife, come down. And round this part right here. And over here. Now this part's the top of the diaper, so I would just leave that nice and, and flat right there. The other part that I would do though is I would go ahead and take my knife down here at the base and take a little bit of that out. And I would do this everywhere except for the top of the diaper in the back. That's just so we can tuck our fondant underneath there because we want, we're not going to have a border um, of icing or anything because we want it to look as real as possible. And the diaper obviously wouldn't have a border at the bottom. Just kind of take a look at it, make sure you like how it looks. And we can even round this part right in here just a little bit. This you can leave straight because once we place the fondant over it, it'll actually bend, curve over a little bit. But we'll go ahead and get all of this. Okay, perfect. So what I like to do now is take one of these scrapers and just get rid of all the excess cake. Get it out of the way and then we'll be ready to ice. Mm -hmm.